YouTube, it's Brandy. How you guys doing? I wanted to give you guys a little summer update of what's been going on in the garden. Um, for one, I wanted to show you guys the things that I grow because I have my own little seeding company, just a little small business, and um, it's actually an Etsy shop, and I haven't really spoke that much about it on the channel. But um, what I do is I grow my own seeds and package them up myself and take my own photographs and set it up that way and here are some of the things that I have well actually I'm not going to go through everything I have I'm just going to show you how they're packed they're packed really simple with the name and label on them and I will leave a link so you can go to my actual website to see the pictures of the seeds and plants that I do have and this year I've tried something different. I'm also selling like um, a seed pack for kids. So everything that's going to be in a seed pack is going to be a variety of different beans and peas and um, tomatoes and things like that that children can grow and just a, a, a large mix. And also, if I didn't lose it, I'm also selling another pack this year called the Three Sisters Garden. And for those who know where the Three Sisters Garden is, it is actually a companion garden that was started by Native Americans. And it's a mixture of um, beans, squash, and corn. And what happens with companion plants is they work together. So the corn grows up a stalk, the beans follow the stalk. And use it as a trellis and the squash is there to cover the roots of the corn to keep the plant from drying out so you don't have to water as much and also the beans add nutrients to the soil nitrogen so that's helpful so everything works together and this is a practice that Native Americans did um, years ago so what you get in the pack this is a small sample this isn't exactly what you get you get about 20 seeds but you'll get a squash a variety of corn because I have so many different kinds and some beans. I actually have a little itty bitty glimpse of what you could see for a um of what a three sisters garden looks like. Mine hasn't fully reached maturity yet. I only planted it about a month ago. But like here, you have your beans, which are going to grow up your stalk of corn. It's going to wrap itself around it. And let me find a squash. Here's a squash here. And your squash is going to cover the roots. Because as you know, these, these um, squash are going to grow out pretty large. So let me see if I could find a larger one. I cannot. Only because I am on camera. That's why. <laughs> but, yeah, there it is. There's a bigger one. See, and that one should be making some flowers. But that's how... Everything works together. And if you see this right here, I didn't intentionally plant it here, but I left it here. This is a jungle peanut. And a jungle peanut actually comes from the Amazon in South America. And it's supposed to not have as much as um, an allergy agent that normal American peanuts have. So they're supposed to be really nutritious and they're really high in protein, which is great for vegetarians. And I have my um, lily here. I usually I always grow lily. And I'm finally getting in a sprout right here. Not sprout. What's the word I'm going to use? A little, um, this is my scarlet runner. This is just starting up, starting to bloom now. So, that's about it for the Three Sisters garden. But it's very easy to start. But back to what I was saying before. Um, I sell a lot of seeds, but I don't always show the pictures of it on YouTube. I'm not all that great with editing yet. So if you're curious of what the things look like that I have, even without going to my website, um, I have garden huckleberries, um, uh, Korea, Malabar spinach, and... I'm sorry about that. Oh, Swiss chard. I have a lot of Swiss chard. I love Swiss chard. And if you're anemic, you want to get Swiss chard. It's really good for you. It keeps your, your iron up. It's a super vitamin. And I guess 
that is about it as far as pictures go of what I could show you that I have. But I can also show you the stuff that I'm growing this year so that I should have the seeds available for you guys next year. Um, one of the things that I checked out was um, from Baker's Creek. And it was, it's called Eggplant Aswad. I'm hoping I pronounced it right. I know Aswad sounds a little bit weird, but it's a, um, it's a Iran eggplant and it grows like really huge. So I had to have those. And this is Boule Gourd. I have this on my um, Etsy page as well. I could show you, oh gosh, I almost fell. I could show you what it usually looks like. See, gourds are pretty simple to grow. They kind of look like squash. This one is about maybe a month old. I think everything I have is about a month old. I'm gardening. We just relocated to Iowa. And I usually have my garden in Atlanta. And I usually start gardening by the end of February or the beginning of March. But since I've been here in Iowa, it has been cold. Not right now, but it was cold. So instead of being able to um, garden early in the spring, I had to do it later. So I started in May. I mean, I walked outside with no shoes on in the end of April. Because it was like 71 day. The next day, I came outside and I didn't have on any shoes. And I just wanted to see what was going on outside. And there was snow everywhere. And somebody told me it snowed in April, but I thought they were lying. I thought they were just, like, cracking jokes. But seriously, it snowed. And I'm talking about snow in April. So, okay. Um, anyway, I got off track. Also, want, I also want to show you what I have growing here. I have some tree tomatoes. And, um, this you can also find at my Etsy shop. They call it garden berries, litchi tomatoes. Um, it's been called the ice plant. It's been called um, litchi, ground, garden berries, whatever. But what it does, let me show you what else. What is the seedling of this? Because I know I had one. I've seen one not too long ago. Oh, that's my luck. I can't find one. I'll find one when I'm not looking for it. Well, anyway, they um they grow just like tomatoes except they have thorns on them and then when the berries come out they're they taste exactly like cherries to me so it's a lot quicker there's one see there's one there's a little um litchi tomato and i mean they do look like regular tomatoes but if you look you see how small these are these leaves are and they're like zigzags they don't stay this small on average i think they grow about two the last time I've grown it was about two or three feet that it grew. But that's one right there. And these are tomatoes, but that's my litchi. So, um, they're really good and they grow pretty fast in one season. So it's like having fruit. It's more of a fruity taste than um, a vegetable taste. 